Hello, my lovely Sagittarius. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Sagis, today will do your daily read or your weekend reading. Sun, Moon, Rising Science and Venus Science for January 11 and the 12th. As you know, love is a general read, might resonate with you, might not, take it accordingly. And let's see here what we got here. I have a Wisdom of the Oracle card for you, loves, for an advice. And of course, our reading. Let's see here what we got for this weekend. And what's the messages? Sun, Moon, Rising Science and Venus Science. As you always know, this is a general read, take it accordingly. Sometimes I may speak directly with the Sagittarius. Sometimes I may speak with a cross-watcher. Let's see here, loves, what we got here. And what's the situation here? As you know, this reading might be for daily, might be for a weekend, might be for a month or even bigger. And I'm glad that many of you, you are looking back to the messages, the the readings I've done even last year I have a few of you who are really resonate even for those messages so thank you loves let's see here Sag this weekend we have time to go and underneath we have truth to be told okay number 45 time to go as you know 4 plus 5 it's 9 and I feel here is something you leave behind here. And as you know, the nine is something completing and it's the next phase about to come. As you see here, this lady, I feel here this lady is like a butterfly transforming. Also, I see her going to this, to the new, to the new door, basically. I don't feel here you looking back as like this lady, but let's read it and see what's the meaning behind this, okay? Number 45 message for the Sagittarius. 44 and 45, time to go. The essential meaning of the card it's ending completion walking away from something because there is nothing else to learn or experience regards the relationship it's over or at very last the form this relationship has taken is no longer of service to you or the other person this is a time of letting go, of knowing that the journey has come to its conclusion. That doesn't mean anything is lost, although this card could speak to a breakup, drifting apart, or the end of a soul contract. It is more about release than destruction. Remember the saying, if you love something, let it go. If it's come back, it's yours. If not, it never was. Endings are always a sign of new beginnings. If you want something deeper, walk away. Very, very well said by Colette Baron Ray. If, if it's meant to be, we'll be here. If it's not, just walk away. If we'll come back, we'll be yours forever. If not, that's never been. Let's see here, loves, what we got here. For some of you, you might put your faith and all the hopes in somebody and seems not going the really that way you need it or want it. And right now you got to that conclusion that this is not an end. For you is for learning and get more for what you want, not for what you do not want. Let's see here, love. Sun, Moon, Rising Science and Venus Science. Also, I do this reading on the full moon in Cancer. It's very emotional moon and the energy around me, it's unbelievable. 
honest to you, very, very strong energy. I barely could get myself to do the readings today, but it's not because I can't, but because the energy, I cannot just organize whatever messages come because it was so many around. Let's see here, Sag, what we got for you, and I hope to be a clear message for you. Here you are, loves, King of Swords. For some of you, Sag, you might deal here with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but doesn't mean that sign. I feel here, if you make a decision and plan for quite a bit of time, it is time for you to do so. Yes. I feel here if you're dealing with this air sign, because underneath is king, queen of wands, yes, I feel here you are now detaching. I don't feel this person will agree with you because they will come right away back, okay? But I feel here somebody turned the back to somebody else in here, okay? Let's see here, loves. What's going on here? Somebody is looking for something better, new, something bigger. Yes, as you see here, all goes to the future. Definitely something could be a third party involved here or a very unstable relationship. That's why that was over. And it's not because you do not love this person or not caring or they do not love you because the love is here. But whatever been offered for some reason you are don't agree it. Okay. Definitely could be a third party here involved. Libra energy here, Taurus energy. We have also the minor arcana of the Virgo. But I feel here you think of this person to come back to you or you feel that this soulmate energy between you and this person, it's so strong. Somebody walked away, not because they do not love the other person, but was somebody else here. That somebody else could be you, loves. Okay? Things went very slow. Was a dispute here and was... a. Um, very much of I I don't need this if this is not working the way it's supposed to then I better be off myself somebody really walked away here and definitely here I see an earth sign I see a cancerian here but I feel here with this cancerian energy somebody walked away from something which was very much not fulfilling I see you said you're working on on some things you want to achieve. For some of you, you you might move along for a better job. I don't see here a situation like you walked away because you wanted so. Somebody could promise you that they will marry you or will be there because they want you or you are the one for them and in fact they didn't offer that, offer something else. And I feel here you, you are just walking away. What I do feel here, for some of you, you got breadcrumbed from this person and you shut down this proposal or this uh, this offer because somebody could be married or you found out and you felt very much betrayed might be for some of you distance between you two or you right now are at the distance for some reason here you feel like what was this all about why they came to me if they could not offer what what they said that they will offer. Even it's hard for you. I see you walking away. And what I do see here was definitely a third party in the past. Could be work. Could be uh, an actual person. Been 
shut down here. I see you walking away and you moving forward. Okay, what I do see here, this person will come back to you, loves. If you are Sagittarius manifesting a new opportunity, new love, new things, they are coming towards you. It's kind of the universe, the angels and the spirits ask you to move just forward. Move forward. Let's see here, why did you walk away from this offer? Why this Eight of Cups is here? I feel here it's mostly disappointing. Like you got disappointed. Like whatever this person offered or said to you, like they said one thing, offer something else, and you expect for them to be honest because I feel here somebody has been dishonest here. And then you just like, you know, you said something, you do something else. I feel here is not. And I like the way you've done, not because you walked away from the love, but because you've seen those red flags and you didn't ignore them. Which, for that, I congratulate you. Let's see here. Knight of Swords. Definitely... Somebody show, it's kind of somebody wear a mask. Definitely there were a lot of red flags because I feel you reflected and when you open your mouth or tell them back, it's like they didn't know what to do and you were just like, you're not making a decision, then I will make a decision. I feel here somebody have been like, emotionally blocked whatever you've been said here somebody found out that it is another person here yes it was a secret person here and you kind of a bit of a little bit felt like why they did that to me and i see you a little conflicted here i don't feel you are talking with this person where you 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 basically told them exactly how you felt and then you you walked away ten of swords they felt like this connection could go but i feel here there was an a start and an ending was a very short lived could be on the summer time yes somebody says something and did something else here it's kind of whatever they've been afraid of that happened this person might had some you know, emotional problems, they could be even, you know, like day and night, like how the weather is changing, and that is a bipolar energy, like one day they are one thing, next day they are the thing here, the sun and moon, one day this way, one day the other day, and I feel here you, you felt very like, why, why am I attracting even this? people yes if every time you try to talk with them or have a real conversation they always been in the defense mode yes because we've been at their party here been dishonesty and it's kind of they've been afraid for you to not catch them and you did that and you did catch them and I feel here, you, you might tell them, you can be my friend, but I cannot offer you more than that. And I feel here, they did confess their love. I see they do love you, but you are not okay for this third party. I feel here also, this person, Sag, they do think of you. Very strong energy of... I done wrong to you, I know that. It's kind of they blame themselves that they they love you and they they cannot get you back for some reason because they, they feel that you are moving on. They will come back with another offer here, Sagittarius. Again, Aquarius, I see Aquarius, I see Pisces, I see a Leo double Pisces, I see a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, and a Cancerian here. 
okay? Yes, absolutely. There will be a, an honest apology here. And they they hoping here to work things out with you, Sag. Absolutely. Let's see here. One advice for the Sag. One card as an advice for the Sag. I feel here you, Sagittarius, you, you feel like you have no time to deal with this energy anymore. Like you are looking for the future, you're moving for the future, you you test the waters with this person and you it's kind of I don't want to go back. It's like you are done with them, they are not done with you. Keep praying, keep have that faith and it's kind of keep dreaming and manifesting something new. As you know, the star is a healing card. It is a wish fulfillment card. For those of you who want for this person to come back, they will come back, okay? Absolutely. With the judgment and the star, yes, you share a very strong connection. Could be a past life connection here. But I feel here for, for many of you, for this time being, you're better this way single Sagittarius here I'm talking I feel you you being in your own energy confident manifesting things work on your things do your things it's kind of when you don't focus on this specific person and start focusing on you do you move on for you, for yourself, you will bring this person back. If in the past you've been focused very strongly, I do love you, and try to fight with them, explain them, letting them know, never worked. And now when you just do you, and this person feel like my Sag is moving on, now they're coming back. And that's because you raise your energy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Loving yourself, doing you, exploring you, this person will come back. Absolutely. If they are not talking to you, they will talk to you. Okay. So, my lovely Sage, this is what I got for you. And I thank you very much. Many blessings to all of you. And of course, loves. Happy weekend. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.